At UTV Canada, it's our mission to help Canadian off-road enthusiasts experience more. More people, more places, more life. The parts and accessories we sell here at UTV Canada work in direct alignment with that vision. The parts and accessories we offer here allow our customers to truly enjoy the sport at its fullest, allowing them to make new memories with their tribe, their riding buddies, and really just trying to, they make, allow them to really just embrace the sport for what it is in a lot of ways. As a distributor to the sport of over a hundred different suppliers, we're very fortunate with the suppliers that we get to work with, as well as the racers individuals that we get to serve. First met Cynthia Prefontaine as she had close ties to PRP Seats, which is one of our major suppliers down in the United States for seats, door bags, and other cargo solutions. As a business that serves dealers from coast to coast, we knew of Amber from Rainy Creek for a long time since they basically opened their account with us. So when Cynthia told us about these plans to go race in Africa, we knew we had to help. We connected them with one of our most recent popular suppliers that we just onboarded called Racerback Off-Road to help us with outfitting their unit. The company produces some of the most incredible cargo racks that any rider can only dream of. All the way from the product packaging to every little small detail on the product itself, they focus and put the absolute most attention to it and strive for absolute perfection. So that Razorback off-road rack, when I seen it, Stacy actually was like, hey, we just got this brand now and I think it's gonna be a perfect match and I looked it up and I was like, whoa. This is exactly what we need. And going through uh, pictures from the past, um, from the rally itself, nobody has that. So I think it's like the best upgrade you can possibly make because then, especially being on a Razor 1000, we really don't have much room. It's so little. That little tiny box is made for racing short distance mostly than more than actually nine day race. Um, so I think it's gonna work out perfect because we can actually stash a lot of stuff everywhere. There's even room on top of it. Uh, it opens and closes, so our stuff is actually gonna stay together instead of initially we thought we would just strap down everything. <laughs> so no, I think this is gonna be the best upgrade we can possibly make and I'm actually excited to see how it's gonna perform. I think this accessory is gonna be one of the greatest things that we definitely install on this unit for what we are taking it and using it for. The Razorback cargo rack is gonna give us a lot more space to work with. Um, we originally just had a spare tire holder on there, but I think with this rack, it's going to allow us to have a lot more in and underneath space that we can definitely pack quite a bit more stuff on it. And then as well to uh, bolting stuff to that rack and on top of the rack uh, gives us quite a bit more room and than what we originally had on there. So I think this accessory is going to be one of the greatest things that we definitely install on this unit for what we are taking it and using it for. How their journey started together is absolutely fantastic. What's fascinating is that they both bring something very unique to the table. She said that she's been wanting to do this race for quite a while and I had never heard of it before. So it was kind of a shock when I first heard it because her and Jamie came into my office and Jamie was picking up some parts or something and she was looking at me with this crazy look and she goes have you ever heard of this event called the rally of the gazelles and I said well no but she's like you should probably YouTube it so sure enough I get on there and I'm YouTubing this event and I'm like this is ridiculous like this is this is something crazy She's just like, you know what? I think I think you have to be my partner. She said, how do you feel like going to Africa to do this race? And I'm like, this is nuts. Like, this has got to be the hardest thing I'm ever going to do my entire life. Somehow, one day I walked into Rainy Creek and I was like, hey, you want to go race in Africa? It was just kind of meant to be for some reason because I wanted to do it for so many years. 
but I was going to be really picky of who I wanted to do it with. And I don't know, it just that night was like, she's the one. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, she looked it up, we started prepping for it. And I think we're, I don't know if we're ever going to be ready for it, but at least as ready as possible. Right. <laughs> so, uh, well, Cynthia is pretty good at gaining the sponsors for one. <laughs> she knows a lot of people as do myself. And, uh, one of the main things Cynthia, uh, for, especially for this event is, is an advantage is that she is bilingual. So I absolutely know about zero French. I've been trying to self teach myself, but it is such a hard language to grasp that having Cynthia there is definitely going to be a hundred percent key. So she can be the contact person with anybody who's um, asking questions or needs talking to, whereas, which it makes my job quite a bit easier because I think it'll allow me to focus a lot more just on the navigation side of it and making sure that I'm not getting sidetracked with conversations or anything so I can really um, n get into what I need to do without having distractions. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm super organized and then there's Ember. <laughs> Where Amber, when it comes to organizing a race or big things like that, um, she's way ahead of me. And when we decide like who was going to drive and who was going to navigate, it just made sense that I have experience on four wheels. So I was going to drive. But as far as navigation being organized, like all these things was just Amber. And we actually went out and rode that side by side. And by the end of the day, I thought we were pretty dull. Like, I think it's going to work out awesome. Um, so it was kind of just a natural fall into place thing where it made sense. She was a navigator and organized and... successful on your race, how will you celebrate? <laughs> I already know what Well, like. there's gonna be some champagne. Oh yeah, we're gonna throw a party. <laughs> yes. We're gonna celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Racing Cheetahs!